All right, next one coming out, we got... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Game Boy Advance flip. <laughs> It's about to get a whole lot brighter up back because your boy is here today. I am very, very excited because in this box right here, it is 100% filled with Game Boy Advance games. But if you're new to this channel, I collect a lot of Nickelodeon stuff, a lot of cartoon related stuff, just a lot of stuff in general, really. But this box in particular, Parker, is 100% filled with Nickelodeon cartoon related Game Boy Advance games. Dude. Okay. Yes. What? Really? It is going to be, if this was a nostalgic, this is a nostalgic bomb. Uh -huh. Which is not a normal nostalgic bomb. This is the kind of bomb that can take down an entire country. Oh my god. The GBA Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna pop this thing open. But the main reason why we are doing this is you guys know the stream room is getting really, really, really close. On screen will be a picture of what my desk looks like. Looking fresh. <laughs> oh yeah. But, one of my closest things I hold in my heart is, I know for a lot of people they grew up with a Game Boy Color, but I'd say for you and me, like, Game Boy Advance was it. Game Boy Advance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like, like, my older brother had a Game Boy Color, so I was familiar, but... Yeah. For me, Game Boy Advance and SP. Yeah, like I had a Game Boy. I remember like my Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Color was out. It was already existing. Everybody I knew had one. I wanted one so bad. But the Game Boy Advance was on the cusp of coming out. Yeah. Like, it had the advertisements everywhere. My dad was like, I am not buying you a Game Boy Color. Just so you can want a Game Boy Advance in two months. <laughs> he knew. He knew. My mom got me the Game Boy Color. <laughs> <laughs> a positive outlook and divorce. <laughs> Here we go, Rep Pack. We're gonna pop this thing open. Go through a freaking time capsule of GBA fun. And also see what we can add to the Nickelodeon and also SpongeBob collection through this box. So before we get into all the games, I gotta show you what I'm gonna be playing some of the games if I decide to open any of them. But right here, this actually came in fan mail. Right here is the SpongeBob Game Boy Advance oh, yeah. SP, dude. I call it SP Ange Bob. Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got SpongeBob right in the front. And on the back, you just got the classic Game Boy information and stuff like that. But check on the inside. Side. <gasps> what is that? A battle for bikini bottom, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys don't know, I'm gonna be live streaming that very soon. Link in the description down below to my live stream. Make sure you guys are there. When I drop the first live stream, you guys do not miss it. But that's that one right there. And I also wanted to share with you guys because I showed you guys I was gonna show you on a Game Boy the SpongeBob Light. And that thing, dude, check it out. It is on and it works. Look at that, dude. Oh, it's shoot. barely working. Let me turn it off. Nothing. Something. Oh, yeah, that, that's really, really sick. That barely has any light, but it still looks freaking dope. But my GBA, what I'm going to be playing all these on, I don't really need these because I have a light already. On the screen, this thing actually has a built-in light in it. Nice. <laughs> it is freaking sick. It's like, the, in my opinion, the ultimate way uh, to play GBA because, in my opinion, this is more easy to play. This is an easier handled system than this is. But the reason you go for this is because the light. You know, you want that. There's not enough power in it right now, but you want that light in the background. But with this one right here, you have the light and the playability of the original. And that's what I think is absolutely perfect. And of course, we got the original Pokemon and really that Minetric. <laughs> but I'm gonna be putting a bunch of Nickelodeon games. We're gonna be able to hopefully see what could be added. To, we're gonna be opening a bunch of Nickelodeon games and see what could be added to this epic GBA collection. All right, so let's pop this thing open, guys. And like I said, this is all, be careful. These are all cartoon related. So it should be, from what the guy told me, they should mostly be Nickelodeon, but there should be some random kind of cartoons in there that I was, I was able to fit in there for the price range. So let's see what we got in here. Do a little top reveal, let's see, because it looks like they might be just showing the bottoms of it only. See how many games might be in here. Oh! Oh, oh wow! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff Dude, in there. That was, I've never seen so many GBA games next to each other. But you ever go to GameStop? I mean, that's different. You didn't go to Because you have to buy them. <laughs> 2008. <laughs> that is true. You have to buy them. But I've never seen that many GBA games in this day and age. Okay, well, yeah. You take what I said and build on it. Yes, built on it and took it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my statement. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's pull the first one out of here. All right. Let's pull the first game out of here. I have no clue what to expect. We got Rugrats Go Wild. <laughs> that's right. sealed. That is sealed. And it's also also, like a little case thing. I read it's popped out of the case thing just so you can see that plastic. I've never seen a case thing for a GBA game. Me either. It's remarkably like the case for other things, but just smaller. Okay, the wrinkle, the wrinkles on it is pretty bad, but dude, we got Donnie back there dressed like Chucky. The Chucky as Donnie. That's when they actually, when Donnie stole Chucky's clothes, but he stole his glasses too, so he didn't really see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the back right here, let's check out these old GBA graphics, dude. Do you remember back when the game was just literally these little, just little pixel people? Oh yeah. But it was like, this was like after 
you know, the S SNES and uh, Super NES and the NES were out already. So this is essentially just like, oh, I have that on the go now. <laughs> <laughs> we got Rugrats Go Wild. It says, help rescue the Rugrats for GBA and Game Boy Advance. There's our first one right there, Rat Pack. We're just gonna make this whole stack, like take up the entire table. Let's add the first one right there. All right, let's you go ahead and grab this next one. Let's go ahead and grab a box. It's all upside down mostly, so go ahead and grab one. Like, I knew you were gonna pick that green bean. Oh, dude! Oh, you be the legend! Damn. We have Revenge of the Flying Dutchman on GBA added to the collection, Rep Pack. Holy Same. crap! We have that game now sealed on GBA. Huh, I didn't know that was Nintendo. It's not Nintendo, Parker. It's an official Nintendo. Yes, Parker, they have to get you the seal in order for them to release the product. Doesn't mean it's made by Nintendo, it's just a seal of quality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then right here, but I know it's really like the prize points logo and like just a bunch of stuff you don't really see that often. Nick.com's not even around anymore. The website for Nick.com games doesn't even exist anymore. But man, that cover is iconic. Oh, yeah. Let's see what else is in here, dude. I am like going from Rugrats to SpongeBob. Obviously, I am at peak happiness. But what could be next? I'm going to let you pick again, Mr. Golden Hands. Okay. <laughs> oh, Green didn't fail before. What did you pick up? Put that back. <laughs> I don't know what Little that is. Little Einsteins. <laughs> Do you remember this show? No. Oh, come on. You at least see the vine. <laughs> But we got the little Einstein's right here. This isn't even Nickelodeon, dude. That's Playhouse Disney. <laughs> I remember back when Playhouse Disney was a channel. This is Playhouse Disney. We're not gonna add this to the Nickelodeon section, but we'll go ahead and just put it in the row anyway. All right, next one out. Let's do it. We got. <laughs> oh. I never thought that it'd be so simple, but all I did was reach my hand in and pull it out. <laughs> so you can play as Drake Bell right there in his band. All right, next one out we got is. Ooh, okay. We got another SpongeBob game. We got Creature from the Krusty Krab. This is a game where basically you're taking on Plankton. Dude, check out that giant freaking. You know that episode of SpongeBob where he heard giants like had a dream? Remember the dream episode where he goes in like uh, SpongeBob's having dreams, he goes in different people's dreams, and you go to Plankton, he's just like a giant, he's like, squash! <laughs> This game is that whole image. Like he's doing exactly that. He's blasting out of his eye and being a giant freaking menace. The fact that you're able to put that together so quickly, people are gonna have different opinions on that. <laughs> this obsession is real, okay? That is amazing though. And it says play eight unusual worlds. So I think it might be just a whole game based off of the dreams. Yeah. Let's see, I am like, this is like literally like the craziest mystery box. I just genuinely, we had Drake and Josh along with Little Einstein's. What could you expect? <laughs> Say it I, before it comes yeah, out. No, exactly. Um, just go with Rocket Power. I feel like that had a video game. Rocket Power? Yeah, I feel like a video game. Jeez. Oh, it's another SpongeBob oh, I one. That. <laughs> lights, camera, action. Oh, no, lights, camera, hands, right? That is the one right there. This is the whole, I think the whole video game is you trying to make scenes for a SpongeBob movie. So you're in, you're playing the scenes, you're playing the games, but you're actually filming a scene. So sick. So right there, we got the cover. But dude, check out the back of the box. That oh. artwork right there. That is just freaking awesome. I guess that's my favorite cover so far. Nah, this was tough. This was tough too. <laughs> this was real. Honestly, uh, Drake and Josh is mine right now. Yeah, that's a dope one. I mean, I never thought that it would be so simple. And it was, yeah, <laughs> they found a way. They found a way. Yeah, that was like post Jenny Craig, Josh Peck. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say the tie for my favorite cover are these two. Yeah, no. Oh, got it. Well, got it. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that one for me. All right, let's pull the next one out. All right, next one. What, what can you try again? Is that Rocket Power? You want to go with Rocket Power again? No, I'm going to go with SpongeBob because I feel like they have more video games <laughs> I don't know about. I that's All a right. safer bet. Let's see what it is. Damn it! <laughs> what is a oh, Rocket Power? <laughs> There we go. That's so messed up. <laughs> you should have went with Rocket Power, I told you. All right, so we got Rocket Power right there, guys. This game is totally insane. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, I read that in your voice. <laughs> I'm like, just saying that. This thing is absolutely awesome. I gotta say that, like, I didn't even know that freaking Rocket Power had video games. Like, I knew they had the one, like, a PS1, but. I figured that's, like, an, a, a completely marketable thing, especially because Tony Hawk was coming out at that time. Yeah, just take the same engine, just replace it with Auto Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's add that one to the line. Super, super sweet. Super smoother. <laughs> All right, next item out, man. Oh, you're gonna go with SpongeBob this time. I don't think it was a safe bet this time, man. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I'm just gonna go with, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with SpongeBob. SpongeBob! <laughs> <laughs> So here it is, dude. That is freaking insane. Attack on the Twinkies? <laughs> or Twonkies. All right, so there we go. We got the Twonky Trouble. Go ahead and turn right it around. Here. Yes, this is the other side. Dude, I gotta say, oh, dude, 1999. Oh, that's meant the year. <laughs> freaking price tag. Yeah, 1999 is the price tag. <laughs> great games, great price. <laughs> All right, next item out. Let's pull it out of here. We got 
What? Oh. Bro, that's all grown up. I can oh, see them in the back of it. Was it. What are they, like 12? Well, partially grown up. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, a little bit grown up. We got Rugrats. If you guys remember this, this is essentially a series where the Rugrats got a little bit older. You gotta see the Rugrats crew as their age gets older, but I think this is more of a girls game. This says express yourself. This is all like you know, about Susie dancing and singing, and then over here it's about dressing. And this is definitely a more of a girl, you know, directed themed game. Oh yeah, it even says up here, gear power. <laughs> Let's pull the next one out. Let's see what we got here. Got three, two, one. <laughs> American Dragon! We got Jake Long, the American Dragon. This is before he got reanimated. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't remember that art. This is the first season of American Dragon Jake Long, and they're like, okay, we gotta get this fat kid out of here. And they made him skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new Jake Long. But dude, I wanted to be the American Dragon so bad. I wanted to be like the African American Dragon, but. <laughs> <laughs> that is freaking sick. We even got, did you remember, the Hunts Clan? Oh, yeah, I now that I see it, yep. <laughs> Damn, look at that Charizard. <laughs> Three, two, one. Man, you flip those get Oh! oh! <laughs> the SpongeBob movie game right here. The only reason why I'm flipping them, guys, is this thing is really, really compact and tight. It feels safe. So right here, the bag is bigger, better, and more absorbent. Dude, this is the iconic one, man. Oh, yeah. This I, I, I played this one. Like I played this one in Battle for Bikini Bottom original. Yeah, I played both those two countless times. Like, those are two of the best games for sure. These, This one right here and Battle for Bikini Bottom. They're in the bag. Did you actually see them driving the paddy wagon? I got to say, though, cover is kind of underwhelming. Because it's just kind of the movie poster, you know? I mean, yeah, but it's like they kind of wanted for the kids to like, oh, this is the movie. Now I can play the movie. That is true. That is true. I mean, they know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Either way, it is sick. Three, two, one. And... Oh! Now that's what I call cow tipping! <laughs> <laughs> we got back at the barnyard, dude. This is Kevin James before he was the mall cop. Wait a minute. That was Kevin James the yes. entire time? The cow. That cow is Kevin James. Wow. <laughs> Just like the way they promo the movie, the original party animals. Dude, but that pig was so gross in this show. Like, he was always doing the nastiest crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, next one out of here. Let's see what we got. We got... Oh, it's another SpongeBob game, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, Lance the Square Pants, you gotta have that. SpongeBob literally has more games than any property for sure, as far as Nickelodeon goes. <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater entered the chat. I don't even think him. I don't even Probably think... not. I'm trying to think of something that has, like, that many video games. Maybe Tetris, <laughs> Pac Man, Mario. I don't even know oh, who Mario. Else. Yeah, for sure, Mario. And then in the back, though, we actually have the full background right here with the bus that actually took them to Atlantis, and it says Holy Allergy. Holy Allergy? Yeah. Is that my favorite of the SpongeBob games for sure, but just ah man, I can already see on the freaking SpongeBob next to the SpongeBob arcade machine, dude, lining all of these covers up. Oh, dude, dude, it's gonna look freaking sweet. So <laughs> much sponge. All right, next game out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hi, hi, Puffy Yami Yumi show. Do you remember this, dude? Wow. <laughs> this is a real throwback. It's funny because I recognize that, like the, the person. The I don't, blue I've the never, blue never watched the show. So, you want to know a fun fact? Let's take a look at the background right now. So, Hi, Hi, Puffy Yami Yumi is a Japanese rock band. And I might be inaccurate in some statements here, but they're a Japanese rock band. But, like, they were K pop, dude, freaking back, like in 2006. Like, they've been a Japanese pop band forever. And then K pop got popular. Check it on the background. Right there we got Yumi and Ami and these are the two music artists that in my opinion super super inspirational these are Japanese music artists that got big enough to where they ended up on US television on a Cartoon Network channel like they had a show on Cartoon Network well that's awesome a Japanese rock band got a Cartoon Network show they actually make the theme song for Teen Titans the original one. Teen Titans Dude, go <laughs> so when you yes. hear the Teen Titans theme song it's actually another companion show that was on at the same time the Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi show they were on at the same time but obviously one show was significantly more successful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one out. Let's pull it. Um, oh! Hey, hey, hey! Cartoon Network Speedway, dude. I remember playing this game daily. <laughs> I was obsessed with this game. Did you, do you remember who you raced with? I raced with Johnny Bravo. Oh, okay. Yeah, for me, dude, I used to always race as Courage or maybe, maybe one of the Eds, like sometimes. But I always liked Courage because yeah. I always felt like he was faster because he was afraid of people behind him. Yeah. <laughs> this game is absolutely iconic. I mean, we have a lot of racing games now. We have the, the Nicktoons Kart Racing, which I'm going to be honest, not the best game. I have the game on Switch. Just didn't really do a good job, in my opinion. But we have freaking Mario Kart. We have a lot of great games, dude. But you don't know, nowadays, they would never have the balls to make a racing game for free. 
freaking cow and chicken or playable characters. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. We have a cow and chicken game where you play as them racing. <laughs> so there we go. We got them right there. The freaking Cartoon Network Speedway. Let's add that one to the list. It's not Nickelodeon, but like I said, guys, it's going to be a little bit of some random shows in here as well. But man, dude, we are really starting to build up here. Like you said, like a early 2000s store. <laughs> All right, next one out. Let's see it. Oh, I think I know what this one is just from the back of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the game I was telling you about. I, I hope that they're in there, but this game actually is a series. So you play Attack of the Toy Bot, Nicktoons Unite, right. then there's this Attack of the Toy Bot, and there's also Nickelodeon Toons Volcano Island. And I those, think I had that one. Yeah, those three are all a series. And this is like, you know, Marvel to the Lions, you can play as like, you know, freaking Spider-Man. You can play as anybody, basically, right? Marvel? <laughs> Spider-Man or anybody. <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> or anybody. That is Marvel. Okay? <laughs> about DC, I say, you know, Superman, Batman, everybody. You know? <laughs> so Spider-Man, everybody. In this game, you were able to play as Danny Phantom. You were able to play as Cat. You were able to play as Timmy, freaking Jimmy Neutron, SpongeBob. You freaking name it throughout this series. And I gotta say, that's gotta take one of my cake. My one of my cakes. One of my cakes. <laughs> I have multiple cakes. I have many cakes to take, cakes. and this is taking one of them. Is the best covers. I see a cover right here. They're very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Wild Thornberries, the movie. And I have to say, man, like this has to go alongside with this. I'm just like I. Iconic, just for the back of the movie cover. Oh yeah. And this is done by Klasky Chupo, so it has that, that same 90s like, is that ugly or is it good looking kind of artwork? Yeah, like nobody in the world will ever look like this, <laughs> yeah. but it's like, this is imaginative. <laughs> but it's kind of crazy how that is weird, obscure Klasky Chupo artwork. Alright, let's go ahead and add the wild thornberries there. Let's take a look at the back there, just get a close up on that. And then here's the back of this one right here, guys. Freaking sweet. We have, look at this, uh, like, not so much oh, like lots of. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one up. We haven't gotten any... Well, no, there's been a lot of Cartoon Network ones so far, but there's no like. There's been like one. There's been Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network. Oh, that's Cartoon Network? Okay. Yeah, these two are Cartoon Network. And okay. there's been two Disney. That is interesting. Two Disney, two Cartoon oh, Network. Oh, Disney's, uh, yeah, Jake Long, that's right. Yeah, uh, let's do the next one. Two, two Cartoon Network. Uh, what is that? Phil of the future! <laughs> You got me. You I have no, no clue. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. If you guys don't know who Phil of the Future is, you probably didn't watch Disney Channel a lot. I'm raising my hand. <laughs> <laughs> People can't see that, but... Dude, this was this. No, it wasn't. This no, was that. Don't even like, try to tell me that, bro. <laughs> Phil of the Future. That's so Raven. Those shows were freaking huge, dude. I mean, I heard people talk about it, but I was too into the arrows. <laughs> <laughs> he had a caveman as a pet. It's a very obscure show, and now that might be a little bit insensitive, but... <laughs> And a caveman as a pet. Well, all right. I can't wait to see the next one. <laughs> <laughs> next one out we got. Yeah! Oh, there it is. Got some fairly odd parents, man. And all my fairly odd parents stuff, I don't know when, I don't know how it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna meet Butch Hartman. I'm gonna meet him. I'm gonna get him to sign several things. We're gonna have a great day. I'm gonna get a picture with him. It's gonna be awesome. Don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. Do you know you're gonna tell him? Like, I feel like everyone kinda tells him something. I don't know, I haven't thought of it yet, but when it comes, I think think it'll get it'll come to me. I, I like grilled cheese. <laughs> I definitely gotta get this signed by Butch Hartman because one day my dream is to be able to meet him and do just a whole freaking photo shot with him and just a whole photo shoot with him and be able to do a video. That would be awesome. But there it is right there. The Fairly Odd Pairs game. Let's take a look at the back. I like is you actually get a little bit of Timmy's house in there too. You have the house right here. Oh yeah. yeah. And like everything's disproportionate. Like somehow Timmy's the same size as the painting. <laughs> All right, so we got Fairly Odd Pairs, man. This list is stacking up. Let's see what the next item out of here. Oh, this one, I have no clue if you'll remember. I remember it <clears throat> very right. briefly. Is it what, Phil of the Past? Phil of the Past. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Phil of right now. <laughs> no, it is going to be right now. I'm going to show you it, but start digging deep. Start searching far, far, far back. Let's pull it out now that you've dug deep. Atomic Betty. <laughs> Oh my god. Any 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 hits? Anything in the brain? Um, the girl kind of, I feel like I could possibly feel familiar. Yeah, I don't even remember watching this show. Like, I can't even remember an episode of this show, but I remember the character, I remember what she looked like, and I remember that I liked the design. Join Betty and her pals in an action-packed adventure based on the hit TV, what was it a hit? Was it a hit? <laughs> the hit TV series? Will Atomic Betty be able to soar across the cosmos, defeat the Maximus IQ, and still make it to the basketball finals? Oh, so the whole thing is about her being a Laker. No, what? no, it's about her playing basketball, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know a lot about this. Yeah, this is very weird. But I also think the cover looks really, really cool. <laughs> All right, next one coming out, we got 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Into the clap oh, right wow. there. This thing is like a little bit uh I've seen a little bit of sun, huh? Yeah, it looks like it, maybe a little bit, huh? And what I noticed was also was weird was on the back of this, like if you flip over any of the GBA games, they all have the game manual inside of them. This one has the manual on the outside. Oh wow. That's really weird. <laughs> so I don't know why they did that. But the cover, definitely the best, one of the that best is, ones so that far. Is completely iconic. <laughs> you yeah. got freaking Clef the Boy Chin Wonder with the Crimson Chin and Cosmo and Wanda. And, uh, it doesn't get more iconic than that. Man, I wish I could cash in all these Nickelodeon prize points. I bet you I'd have a goddamn lot of them. <laughs> I bet you they still wouldn't get you anything good. Honestly, it's probably like all that and I get like a SpongeBob keychain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got like a couple more left here. Let's pull the next one out. We got Jimmy oh. Neutron, the, the actual movie. So this was before the show mm. even came out. Of course we remember that. Yes, yeah, so this is the Jimmy Neutron movie. So a lot of you guys might remember watching the Jimmy Neutron show, but the movie actually came out first. There was a Jimmy Neutron movie, the success of that but launch the show. Let's take a look at the back right here, man, and it is absolutely awesome. My favorite kid for all the Jimmy Neutron scenes and that movie is this kid right here, man. We were gonna see who could eat the most cotton candy, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Jimmy Neutron one. I gotta say, man, the last two have been epic. I gotta say, this might be one of my favorite Dude, it's ones. It's funny because I was just thinking, oh, that to this one totally took the cakes for yeah. me. Yeah. Because, like, that is so sick. And you have, like, the main villain. You oh, have, like, yeah, the every bronze kneecap. Yeah, I didn't even exactly. notice the bronze kneecap back there. <laughs> yeah, you got everything here, but that, I just remember that movie being played so much. Like, we're the kids of America. Oh, uh, we're the kids of the future. Oh, and the oh, chickens in the background, so too. Sick. Those chicken machines. That is just totally the movie. I remember seeing that in theater with my mom. It's always gonna be an awesome memory I have in my brain. Like just classically, just you can't get simpler than that. No problems in the world except for me and this popcorn and watching Jimmy Neutron save the planet. You know? All right, so there we go. We got Jimmy Neutron. It seems like we only have one box in here left, but I gotta say, man, absolutely awesome experience. This is so sick to see with three rows. It's like it's now it's official. <laughs> I'm really just moving around and make it look like you know a lot thicker. But damn, that's so cool. It is. Just looking epic. I cannot wait to have all of these out there, guys. All of, like, I obviously in my stream room, I only have so much room to display so much stuff. I can't have every single video game out there, but if I can have only ones displayed, I'm going for GBA stuff because to me, it's got the most iconic boxes, got the separate gameplay, not just that, it's freaking the hardest to collect. Okay, and that is what ultimately I'm always the most into is collecting. So, let's go ahead and see the next one we got here. Last one we got, dude. Oh my god. Just what? instant, instant nostalgia. Oh, <laughs> dude. This is Wait a either the first or the second SpongeBob game to ever come out. It says Game Boy Color on the game side. Game Boy Color. This isn't even for the Game Boy Advance. This is like just a Game Boy Color game. You can't even play this oh my. on Game Boy. Well, you can play it on Game Boy Advance, but it wasn't for Game Boy Advance <laughs> right there. But let's check it out and see, like, what at this time was something that they deemed marketable for the show? You know what I mean? Okay. So let's take a look at the back here. And of course, we got it. It's time to bring it around. Downtown, because that would have been <laughs> yeah. after that episode, maybe four episodes in. That episode comes around, and there you go. And the, bubble bass. There's bubble bass, but it doesn't even look like bubble bass. It's like he looks like bubble bass, but if he was a molester. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's weird. And then you got the little SpongeBob here, nude. And then it's like you have the jellyfish field right here. And where's the bus station from? Um, oh, Rock yeah, Bottom. From, uh, from Rock Bottom. Yeah, so it's like maybe you go to Rock Bottom in the game as well. It just gets you that perfect hit of everything. You got the golden spatula, the lost spatula. Obviously, that's from the episode where he goes and try to get this uh neptune's gold spatula i actually have that gold spatula but on the box it actually says the flying dutchman spatula but we clearly know that's a damn neptune spatula. I know, that's what I was <laughs> that is all of them let's get into some nice clean rows here all right rep pack so there we go these are all the new games added to the rep pack collection this is all the brand new gba games 100 percent sealed now i gotta say which one is your favorite cover of all of these now all right. for me it is a tough decision to make but i think i have my choice what's that gonna be as I slowly <laughs> through all of them. I have to say my favorite cover out of every single one is actually going back to almost where we started but I gotta say the Flying Dutchman is my favorite oh. cover. That one is so sick. I said that I like the Plankton one more but I just feel like the Flying Dutchman is one of the sickest and most interesting characters in Spongebob. Like it's not enough credit so I gotta go ahead and say that's my favorite one. It's the first Spongebob game I ever played as well. Yeah I can see why that hits differently. Okay. I remember that. I remember seeing that on the shelf. I remember playing a lot of these Spongebob games, yeah. but I gotta say, I gotta go with the 
uh, enter the club. I that think that is awesome. super sick. That one is absolutely awesome. And I freaking love the fact that you have so many different representations of the characters in the background, especially with the villains as well. And just because of the fact that you know it's not just about Fairly Odd Parents, it's like the action packed comic universe of Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, exactly. Like they made it, it's like they could, anybody could make like a, a Fairly Odd Parents game, like, oh yeah, make a wish and do this yeah. and do that, like do whatever. But the fact that it was just about Clef the Boy Chin Wonder, like that, and you're like, oh, I am, su I, I'm, a, I'm a superhero and I'm gonna be Timmy Turner doing this with Crimson Shin. Exactly. Absolutely awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and check out this video on your screen right here, actually, which is the last epic video game adventure where I actually went out and found a real SpongeBob Sega arcade machine. The ones that are actually in arcades, go check it out, guys. Literally a dream grail for me to get. I recommend you guys go check that out. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Now, adios. Bloop.